Tomorrow it plans to send a reusable rocket into space. Morgan Brennan joins us from Cape Canaveral. Hey, Morgan. Hey, John, that's right. So SpaceX is hoping to make history here on Florida's Space Coast by launching a recycled rocket for NASA, but it's going to have to wait a bit longer to do that after pushing back the Falcon 9 launch late last night. It's now hoping to conduct this mission tomorrow, about 24 hours from now. And SpaceX saying it needs to, quote, allow for additional time for pre-launch ground systems checks. The Falcon 9, or really the main engine, the first stage booster, previously flew in June and will carry an unmanned Dragon capsule filled with science experiments and supplies that will also be making its second trip to the International Space Station. Now this launch will take place from Cape Canaveral's uh, Launch Pad 40, which we saw firsthand yesterday, and which is being used for the first time since a fiery Falcon 9 explosion in September of 2016 that caused extensive damage to that pad and prompted a $50 million investment by SpaceX. But overall, this mission, which is SpaceX's 13th to resupply ISS for NASA, it's being very closely watched. This is the first time the government has done something like this with a commercial company. It's adding validation to SpaceX's reusability model, but speaking as well to the fact that as we've heard from the NASA officials here and in light of President Trump signing a directive just yesterday to send humans or Americans uh, to the moon and Mars, future space exploration hinges on the ability to reuse hardware to drive down costs. And that is really going to take help from the private sector to do it. SpaceX has been on the forefront. And guys, this is really a big reason why this is a company that is now valued at $21.5 billion, according to Equidate, making it one of the most valuable private companies in the world. Back over to you. Uh, we can't wait to see uh, the results of uh, what happens where you are. What a great assignment, Morgan, Morgan Brennan at uh, Cape Canaveral this morning. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. The president announced his first space policy directive at the White House on hand, Jack Schmidt. The last astronaut to land on the moon, uh, Schmidt, and the last astronaut to walk on the moon, Gene Cernan, launched their Apollo 17 mission 45 years ago today from Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39A. Cernan passed away in January. You may hear a sonic boom tomorrow morning thanks to SpaceX, but the company's last launch of the year from the Space Coast also includes some firsts. It will be the first launch from Cape Canaveral's Launch Complex 40 since a pre-flight test caused a Falcon 9 to bust and burst into flames more than a year ago. Tomorrow's mission will also be the first space station cargo run to use a so-called flight-proven or used Falcon 9 first stage, which SpaceX plans to land again at the Cape. And in addition to the usual tons of supplies and scientific experiments, the Dragon capsule also features Budweiser. That's right, not beer itself, but the company is sending up barley to see how well it grows in microgravity. Why, you ask? Budweiser wants to be the first to eventually brew beer on Mars for Earthlings who colonize the red planet. Nothing like a good cold one, right. you get to a new world. Yeah.